Our first step for making our Chihuly sculpture is going to be selecting a plastic bottle. So you'll want to select a bottle that's easy to cut. You'll also need some sandpaper, some tape and a marker, and some scissors, as well as some paint. So I'm going to write my name on the tape with a marker and then I'm going to stick it on the bottom of the bottle. You might already have your name on your bottle and you can just take that tape and stick it on the bottom. Make sure I can read it and put your hour and day um, so other students don't take it or think it's theirs. Next, you're going to remove any wrappers, so the part with the logo um, or the, the shiny plastic, uh, you're going to take that off. We don't want that on there. So I started a little tear with my scissors in the plastic, and then I can just pull it right off. Make sure you throw away the wrappers. Next, you're going to use sandpaper to rough up the plastic. This is really important uh, because it helps the paint to stick. You'll see I'm moving up and down and side to side. This also removes any wrappers or glue from the wrappers on the bottle. It's okay if there's a little bit of plastic wrapper still on there. Not a big deal. We just want most of it off. And I'm standing up and down and side to side all over the bottle. I'm not going to do the bottom because I'm not going to paint the bottom, that's where my name is. And whether you have a cap or not, doesn't matter if you have it on or not at this point. Um, you can have a cap or you can take the cap off, it's up to you. If you need to rinse out your bottle, that's not a bad idea too, to rinse it out with some hot water. Um, in case there might be some leftover stuff in there. Hopefully not, but if there is, go ahead and rinse it out in the sink using hot water. Make sure to save the sandpaper. Don't throw it away because we can use it again in other classes. And there is my sanded bottle. It looks kind of hazy now. And now I'm going to start painting. Now you don't need a lot of paint. I have a pretty thick coat here, but yours doesn't have to be as thick. You really don't need that much paint. And you'll see I'm going up and down and side to side kind of the same way that I uh, used the sandpaper. I'm going to paint up until that red line there. Um, where the top of my bottle starts. And I'm not going to paint the bottom. The top of the bottle is a nice place to hold on to your bottle while you're painting. You don't have to get your fingers very dirty. Or your table that dirty. You see I have newspaper underneath. That's very important. Don't forget the newspaper underneath your bottle in case you spill some paint. And once we have this painted, we can just let it dry. And next class, we will begin cutting it. It's okay if you miss a couple places, that's fine. It'll just make it more unique when we put it together into the collaborative sculpture.